In today's video, how frequently should you train a muscle if you want it to grow? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. Happy Friday. We're going to keep this short today. We're going to keep it brief and we're going to answer a question off my Instagram direct message and that is, how many times a week should you train a muscle if you want to get the most benefit for muscle growth out of that muscle? And the video came from Instagram direct message. So hit me up with the DM, slide on in there, send me your messages, love them, I save them and uh, I post videos up like this one and I got another one coming out tomorrow. So the question basically is, from someone that says, if more is better, should I train a body part basically every day to get it to grow? And so what I wanna talk about is where that came from, the theory behind uh, maybe daily training, and um, kind of my thoughts and my experiences. I've been lifting weights for 25 years now, and I've tried some crazy stuff. So let's talk about the things that I've seen a lot of benefit from. So first, should you train a body part every day? I, I really would advise against this only because if you train every day, you're probably gonna be interrupting the recovery cycle quite a bit. Uh, the most frequency that I've seen a benefit from is three days a week. And that was a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule where I was training um, not to actually grow muscle at that point. I was trying to get stronger. Um, when I was really young, I did a three day a week bench program. The difference was when I was young with the three day a week bench program, I really wasn't doing much else. I was doing like a bench and kind of like whole body the rest of the week. So I was getting not a lot of whole body training volume. I think one thing you have to consider when you're talking about training frequency is what is your whole body training volume like for the week? Um, if it's too high, you're really going to struggle to recover and get better. So I'm gonna link a study below from Brad Schoenfeld that basically showed that training a body part once a week was not as good as training a body part twice a week for muscle growth. Meaning that training um, across the same volume over two sessions was better than just one session. Well, why would that be? Well, if you give yourself a chance to train and then recover a little bit and then train again, you're going to increase the likelihood of muscle protein synthesis and all these kind of markers. And so what I've personally seen myself the best results with would be a twice a week training program where I trained in a non-linear fashion, meaning my intensity or the, the amount of reps I did for the, the body part was different in each session. So I would train in a, a higher intensity or closer to my one rep max, uh, one session per week or a, like a heavy day. And then I would do a more typical bodybuilding hypertrophy day where my reps were, let's say above 10, around 10 to 20, somewhere in there. So this non-linear twice a week program for me, I found the most effect from. I would get much more sore from the hypertrophy based training so I would always schedule it so I had the most recovery from that. So if you're in a seven day window, you know, you wanna have a couple days of recovery from each training day, right? So I would make sure I had two or more days to recover from my hypertrophy based training session. So when I was training three days a week, what did I do? Well, Monday, Wednesday, Friday would be my training and my toughest day would be Friday. So I would have Saturday, Sunday to recover. That was when I was doing powerlifting and I did see some benefit there. And there has been some research that's shown there's a benefit to more frequency when it comes to a skill-based lift like a squat, deadlift, bench, these types of things. But some of that can be considered neural adaptation. Um, you know, the specificity of lifting heavy is a little bit different than building muscle. And that's not what you asked. You asked about building muscle. So should you train a muscle every day? I do not think if your goal is to build the most, most, most muscle possible, you should lift every day. In fact, I think probably twice a week is where the sweet spot is, okay? And each time you train, train a little bit differently. Train a little bit of higher reps one day, a little bit of lower reps the other day. Try mixing it up. Look up nonlinear periodization if you wanna know more about that. But the idea here is that we're we're getting some training in, we're getting some training volume, we're allowing our body to recover, and we're hitting it again, okay? Hopefully this helps you guys out. Hopefully you're having a great week, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, and hey, if you're gonna be uh, at the seminar in Houston tomorrow, leave a comment below. I'd love to know who's gonna be there. All right, guys, talk to you soon.